If you're not doing something that you love to do, find something that you love to do because it will make your whole life different for you, for your children, boys and girls. Find something that you're naturally good at, figure out how to make a living at it, but make sure you're doing something that you love to do. And if you can't do it as a vocation, for whatever reason, do it as an avocation. Um, something that gives you pure satisfaction is something that gives you confidence. If you can't do it every day from nine to five, learn the tango. <laughs> do something spectacular for your soul. That's what business is all about, confidence. You, you know, the song says you can be a hero or a zero, and the difference is confidence. And if you have created a, a portfolio for yourself, even in your own head, that you are really special and you know your business and nobody knows whatever part of that business that you do better than you do, that gives you confidence. I think you make reasonable demands consistent with how indispensable you are. And if you are, if you believe that you're totally indispensable, then you say, these, these are what I think is fair. And I, I think that that's an important word. I usually knew that I was smarter than most men in the room not necessarily academically smarter, F surely not academically smarter than most men in the room, but as a woman, you have so many other gifts. Most women have so many other negotiating skills, negotiating the life of a working woman with a family. You have to have more skills than most men that you come to terms with in a room. I think that the only thing that you can do is find something that you're naturally good at, figure out how to make a living at it, because then you'll do it well, and then you try to make yourself irreplaceable in whatever it is that you're doing. Every stage in life can be an adventure. You don't have to be defined. If you didn't make it in your 20s, you can make it in your 30s. And if you didn't make it in your 30s, you can make it in your 40s. And if you didn't make it in your 40s, you can make it in your 50s. And just remember Grandma Moses. You know who that is? Oh, please tell me you remember Grandma Moses. She was a painter. And she didn't start painting until, I think, in her 80s. And one of the most prolific painters. It's never too time. late. Never too late. Never so too have late. fun. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Judge.